What's up, Cal gang? All right, so we have some ice problems here. All right, so we got a five kilogram chunk of ice sliding on ice, and it runs into this other five kilogram chunk of ice, and it hits it at 12 meters a second. It wants to know how far up will it be able to go? Like once it's vertical distance up, it'll be able to slide after this collision, assuming there's no friction. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with this. So what we need to do is a lot of um, like momentum stuff on this. So we know that the momentum final is gonna be equal to the sum of the, moment, or the momentum uh, initial, basically. So if you take the momentum of both of these, it's gonna be equal to the, you know, before the collision and after collision, they're gonna be the same amount of momentum. And we know that momentum is equal to mass times velocity, right? Okay, so the final, let's do this. So the final part is gonna be the mass of both of them. So mass one plus mass two times velocity final is gonna be equal to mass one, velocity one, plus mass two, velocity two. Okay, so we know all this stuff, right? So this, these two, this is gonna add up to 10 because five plus five is 10. Velocity final is equal to mass one, velocity one, so it's gonna be five times 12, plus mass two, five. But this one's stationary, so it's gonna be zero. This is gonna get canceled. So then all you have to do simply is divide, you know, five times 12, which is 60 by 10, to get velocity final is equal to six. Which makes sense, right? This is going 12, you know, the two hit is twice as much mass, it goes half the speed. So there you go, that's uh, velocity final. That's the question, right? No, that's not, okay. That's one thing you need though. Uh, where am I at? Okay, yeah. Okay, so we got what we need. So if you have velocity and you have no friction, um, a kind of cool way to think about this is like, you'll, if your velocity is this and there's no friction, like no matter you know, which way you, you apply that force, you're gonna get up the same amount of distance. So you can say six, if you went, you know, if your velocity was six vertical and you went up like a little ramp, you, if there was no friction, you'd go the same distance up as if you went straight up with a velocity of six. So let's go ahead and let's do this. Uh, I probably should confirm that, that I know what I'm talking about before I do that. But it's, you know, it's gravitational potential energy. So we can use the formula, velocity squared is equal to velocity initial plus two gravity height. Okay, so velocity initial. Basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna work backwards. I'm gonna imagine we're falling and we land at the final velocity of six just to see where the height is. So you could say our velocity initial for falling is zero. So we're gonna say six squared is equal to two times gravity, 9.81 times height. So then you're just gonna divide 36 by two times 9.81 is equal to height. And that would give you the number. 1.84 meters. There you go. That's how you solve the problem. Uh, pretty simple. So just work in two steps. You just want to work with what you've got and what you want to know, um, like, what's, you want to basically outline a plan of what you're going to do when you solve a problem like this. You're going to say, I need to find that velocity afterwards. And then from there, I can find how high up it's going to go. So yeah, good luck on your physics homework, guys. If this helped, uh, stick around and watch some more videos.